Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well, I got Amber and Summer out here this morning. We're in Homosassa, Florida, and we're looking for scallops. We got a couple so far. That, not too bad. So we're gonna see if we can do get some more. See if we can have a pretty good day. Wish us luck, y'all. Well guys, we're getting a few. We're not getting a whole bunch, but we are getting a couple. That one keeps floating. We are getting a couple, y'all. Check out all the boats out here, y'all. As far as you can see is boats. How clear that water is. It's absolutely beautiful over here, y'all. Alright guys, well we're getting some. We're getting there. Slowly, but we're getting there. Look at all the boats, y'all. There's so many people out here today. guys that's what we ended up with we ended up with 72 scallops about almost two gallons worth of whole scallops not as good as I wanted to do but not too bad it was a fun day all right guys I'm at the cleaning table we got our scallops basically what we're gonna do here is we'll take a spoon stick it in here just run along the shell got that top one off do the same thing on the bottom and basically actually got it loose just peel all this stuff right here away there you go there's your clean scallop I'll show you again just take it up here like this got that away Now there's other techniques, but this is just the one I use. I actually like the shop back technique, but I don't have a shop back. And all this stuff you just discard. And there you go. And this stuff actually is pretty good bait. 
if you want to save it. I actually might save these and use them offshore, catching grunts and stuff for bait. Get one more. There we go. And there we go. Beautiful. Actually, guys, as I was doing this, I just came up with a little quicker way. So I use my spoon, scrape them off like that. Comes out a lot better. It comes out a lot better like that. Yeah, look at that. I'm sitting on the shell. I just got to take them off the shell. I like that way better. All right, y'all. This is what I ended up with. I might get two meals out of that. But hey, it was fun. That's all that really matters. You know, it's not something we get to do all the time. It's the first time Summer got to go, so this was a new experience for her. And we actually had fun, and we got to get a little bit of meal. Food for a meal. Not too bad. All right, guys. Well, we're in the kitchen. I got my scallops right here. I got basically about three dozen, a little more, little scallops right there. And to that, I'm gonna add about two dozen shrimp that I also caught, that I will be putting the link up here somewhere. So you guys can check out that video. We're gonna add the shrimp to that. We're gonna have one yellow onion, one red pepper. We're gonna get like a tablespoon of minced garlic, some butter, Parmesan cheese, and we don't have uh, fettuccine noodles, so we're just going to use spaghetti noodles. And we're going to make a real quick and easy from scratch shrimp, um, shrimp scallops, and pepper fettuccine alfredo. But with no fettuccine noodles, we're going to use spaghetti instead. All right, guys, I got my water on right now. I got some salt in here, and also some olive oil, so the noodles don't stick together. I got my fire on right here, and to this, I'm going to add a couple big dollops of butter. I don't have an exact measurement on this, I just use it to taste. That's pretty much what I'll end up with right there. Alright guys, I got my butter all melted, and to it I'm going to add one heaping spoonful of minced garlic. Also going to add my one onion. And my peppers. My one red pepper. Bell pepper. So we're going to let this cook. You want all the vegetables to get nice and tender and the onions to be almost translucent. Alright guys, this is looking and smelling really good. And to this, I'm going to add Chef Paul's Black and Red Fish Magic. This is some of my favorite stuff. A little helping of that and use this to taste. I don't really have an exact measurement. I'm not really an exact measurement cook. I do everything to taste and what I think is going to be good. So this is starting to look pretty good. Let this cook a little bit longer and we'll add our scallops and our shrimp. All right guys, this is ready now for our shellfish. We're going to put our shrimp in. scallops the guest of honor so we'll let these cook real good and then we'll do the final steps all right guys it's looking good let's look ready for the next step and the next step is we're going to add in some two percent milk i like two percent versus a uh, whole milk and basically we're just going to cover this whole mixture up pretty good we're going to use about a quarter of the half gallon of milk. Now you can see all that butter rose to the top, so we got plenty of butter. So we'll just let this stir around for a little bit. Bring this up to a boil, slow boil. We'll add our Parmesan cheese, and then we'll use some cornstarch and water to thicken it up. And then we'll have a Alfredo sauce. 
All right, guys, I got my water boiling here. I'm going to take out my spaghetti noodles. Cover these, let these cook, and we'll get back to our uh, Alfredo sauce. Alright guys, I just tasted it. It tastes pretty good, but we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more Parmesan cheese. Just a little bit. That should be about enough right there. Stir that around. And that should be it. And then we'll do the uh, cornstarch in cold water. You want to make sure you always use cold water when you're using cornstarch to thicken. And we'll be good to go, y'all. Alright guys, we're ready to use the cornstarch now. We gotta keep moving it around and just slowly add it in. Start off with that much. Starting to thicken up. Man, this smells absolutely fantastic. Alrighty, we'll add some more. Just keep adding it until you get the consistency you want. This is looking pretty good, I think. We will end up using the rest of it. And that should be it right there, y'all. Oh yeah, that's perfect now. Nice and thick. And this is how you make a Alfredo sauce, y'all. It's actually very easy. Hey guys, we got my uh, Alfredo pasta all done. Looks pretty good, don't it? All right, let me see here. Let me find a uh, scallop. There we go. There's a scallop. They kind of shrink down a lot after you cook them. Let's go ahead and taste the scallop real quick. Man, those things are really good. Wow, they're good. Alright, so I've got another scallop. Got some of the noodles and everything here. Let's try this now. Mmm. Wow. That's awesome. Really good. Very easy to make, as you can see, but I don't really have an actual recipe. I don't measure anything. It's just the way that I cook. It's the way I was taught by my grandmother. But uh, give this a try, y'all. It's really good. It's good with shrimp. It's good with scallops. It's good with clams. It's good with lobster meat. It's just really good all the way around. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And for each and every one of y'all that has subscribed to my channel, Thank you guys so much. I mean, almost a thousand. We're over 900 now. And it's all thanks to y'all. And I appreciate it very much, you guys. I really do. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, why don't you come on over and hit that subscribe button. Join the channel. Join everybody. You know, we all like to talk to each other. I go fishing with some subscribers. I go fishing with other YouTubers. Just join the family, y'all. Well, guys, so I get to see you again soon here on the water. Tight lines, y'all.